Sirach chapter 5, verse 7, and it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit, right? Just another quick lesson on just seeking the Lord. You, you see what time it is. You hope for a Lex out there. You, you see what time it is. It, the Lord is kicking it into high gear. The Lord is kicking it into high gear. And what do I mean by that? The judgments. The Look, the ship is sinking, Israel. And, and you still own it. You got rafts all around the ship. Wait, waiting for you to hop in it. But you're going you, the ship keep is going down. It's going, it's going down fast. You still on the ship. Ra rafts everywhere. W what is the raft? This word. What is the raft? This word. Receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. It's time to seek the Lord. It's another lesson on seeking the Lord. Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying. The word tarry means the way. What are you waiting for? Bow down. Bow down, Israel. Submit yourself to the words of the Lord. The scripture says, if thou, if thou bow down thy ear, thou shalt receive understanding. Just roughly paraphrase it. Bow down. We got to bow down. We got to come all the way. Can, can we plan around? One foot in the world, one foot in the truth. No, look, choose you this day who you going to serve. We in crucial times now, man. You most definitely don't play at a time like this. You trying to, you still trying to figure out who you going to serve. Babylon is through, man. Make no tarrying. So rock five and seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Israel still taking their time. You got hopeful Lex out there. They, they know already. They still taking their time, waiting for the right opportunity. This is the right opportunity now, now. And putting that off from day to day. I get it tomorrow. I, I get it next week. Y'all going to be out here next week when, when you, ain't, you ain't have nothing to do. You could have stayed there and listened for an hour, two hours, three hours. Until camp ended, you won't doing nothing. Going home and getting on that damn PlayStation. Or going home to bow down to that damn woman and kiss her feet. Or doing nothing, standing around a bunch of ninjas talking about nothing. We could have been listening to the words that's able to save your soul. For Because if you put it off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. See, the Lord's going to creep up on you. That thief is going to creep up on you suddenly. The wrath of the Lord. is it The wrath of the Lord getting these people, man. The storms, the floods, the earthquakes, everything that you This violence, this chaos, hyperinflation. You not being able to pay your bills, whatever. That's the wrath. The little, them plagues coming upon you. You catching some. You asked for it. Remember, Israel, you asked for it. Suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security, when you think it's all safe, comfortable, thou shalt be destroyed. Are you hearing what the scriptures? Are you not hearing what the scriptures is talking about? And perish in the day of vengeance. Because that's what the Lord, the Lord is out for blood, man. All right. The Lord is out for blood, man. Look, straight up vengeance. You can always go and look up that definition for the word. Matter of fact, hold on. on, on you. Matter of fact, hold on. Let's go, let's go back. Let's just go back. Let's just go. I want to go back. We're going to come right back. But I, want, I want to get a word. I want to get a word if I can.
I, I, I got to get this done. The Lord said, look, you're going to get caught up in his vengeance. Let's, let's see what vengeance means. Vengeance. It's a noun. You're going to get caught up in the vengeance of the Lord. Punishment. Inflicted. Or retribution. The Lord's going to pay you back. Exacted for an injury or wrong. You got you, you, to being wicked. Transgressing the words of the Lord. Revenge. The Lord's coming back for revenge, man. Retribution. You got you, the Lord wants you to, you got to pay now. Pay back. You see? Retaliation. You see? You see it, man. You you, you see it, man. The Lord's getting ready to give you a taste of your own medicine, man. So, so, so let's go back. Just, just go right on back. Let's go to Baruch. Baruch chapter 4. That, that's why we can't be playing around. Baruch chapter 4. Let's just get it. Baruch 4. 28. Quick little lesson because I'm about to head out of the door. Got to go to work on um, so-called Michael, uh, what is it? Michael Lucifer King because his name won't Martin. It's Michael, man. Michael Lucifer King. Y'all done, done made him an idol. Just, just celebrating a day where he didn't do shit for the people. He didn't do, Martin Lucifer King, he didn't do shit for the people. He didn't do nothing for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and then make it, especially you so-called blacks. He did nothing for you. He got you destroyed, all right? He got your hose down with water. He got your ass ate up by dogs. He coins on your feet from all that damn marching. I got a dream. I got a dream. Well, his dream got you destroyed. Seek the Lord. Baruch chapter 4, verse 28, and it reads, For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, remember, we, we went off Israel, started worshiping idols, practicing the customs of the heathens, just had to be like the heathens. When the Lord's way was perfect, man, Israel hates a perfect way. You see, Israel hate being perfect. Well, and, and matter of fact, striving because we can't be perfect in these bodies, but Israel hates striving for perfection. But the Lord does have a perfect way. And we stop following it. And this is the end results. Me doing a video in captivity, getting ready to go to damn work. This is the end results. Jake's being slaughtered out here. That's the end results, right? Baruch 4.28, for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, so be in return, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, put his spirit on us to repent, to turn back remorseful, regretful, you see, you should be, y'all people should be ashamed, should have shame face, man, head down, we went to hell off, man. Head down. Begging for forgiveness. Begging, begging, begging for forgiveness. Praying like I don't know what. So be in return. Seek him. They got the word again. Seek him ten times more. And we all know these scriptures. But the Lord got me bringing them out again. Plus, as a matter of fact, yeah, we do know the scriptures, right? But let's get this, though. We, we, do, we do know the scriptures, though, right? But let's get this, though. It's going to get this, though. James. James chapter 1, I'm, I'm going to hit a point, and then I'm going to go right back up. James chapter 1, because we all know the scriptures, right? But but what did the scriptures say? Because we all know the scriptures, right? he brought it out last time. We all know the scriptures, but what did the scriptures say? James chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word, because we all, we all know the scriptures, right? We, we hear them, right? But be ye doers of the word. And not hear us only. You, should, you can't just hear what the Bible is saying. You got to do it to the best. You got to do, so, do something to the best of your ability, man. To the best of our ability, we must rehearse the righteous acts, man. This rehearsal time, man. And not hear us only. The Lord said uh, those that, that rehearse the righteous acts. What did, what did it say? Um... The doers of the word shall be justified. Not the hearers only. But the doers of the word are going to be justified. You see? So we must at least rehearse the righteous acts. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own self. See, the Israelites that ain't taking heed to this word. And we know the word. We know the law can't save you. But we at least got to rehearse it. We don't make void the law. We show our faith by rehearsing the laws, man. You got Israel hollering, the laws, the laws, the laws. And they don't know the first thing about keeping the law. They talking about the law, but they shaved up. They talking about some keeping the law, but they slandering, lying on men. 
false accuser, false accusation. But yeah, the law, law, law. They look the, the law, but then they got long ass hat. The men got long ass dreads. The law, law, law. But then they out there on the highways and byways with guns, with fringes on, down to the ground. The Lord says, stop being hearers of the word, but become doers of the word, right? 21, James 1 and 21. Because remember, seek the Lord, right? The message is about seek the Lord, right? Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity. You go into that word superfluity, is the access of doing too much, right? And look, the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness. You see, refrain from any appearance of evil, Israel. Any appearance of evil, get away from it. You don't see, you don't see what the Lord is doing? You, you Israelites, y'all must be blind. The things that you see these other Israelite groups doing, you know they blind as hell still. Only thing they do, they just know they're Hebrew Israelites. Other than that, it don't go no farther than that. With the majority of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they're making it's don't it don't go no farther than just knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite with them. That's, that's as far as it go. I'm an Israelite, I'm an Israelite, I'm an Israelite, and that's it. They ain't rehearsing nothing. They don't fear the Lord, fear the Lord. And superfluity of naughtiness. And receive with meekness. Got to come humble. The Lord wants us humble. He won't have it any other way. And receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. That's why we must repent. Turn back. S seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. It's going down. Look, look. You, you don't want the Lord to get angry. You, you don't want the Lord to get angry. Let's see. Matter, matter of fact, let's get this right quick. I got one more scripture out this because this guy got the role. On um, Martin Lucifer King, you know what I'm saying? So called birthday, which is whack as hell. But I am getting time and a half, so it's all good. That, that's about it. Just, just time and a half. Just getting our daily bread for right now. California gets hit with new round of rainfall, deletion toll from storm, now 19. See, see, look, look, they, they made, they, they tear it. You see, they, look, they tear it. Northern California impacted by heavy snow. The Lord getting it in. You see, Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord. Here we go again. Seek, search, search for the Lord, man, and search for the true, the true believers tr too. The true teachers. Because everybody with Bibles in their hand aren't men of the Lord. Once again, we, we, we know you Israelites don't know nothing. We know we know you simple as hell. What does it say? PSA. PSA. Every man with a Bible isn't a servant of the Lord. They're serving their own belly. They're not men of the Lord. Remember that, Israel. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. What is that going into? The men of the Lord being on the highways and byways. Seek the word from them. While they may be found. Because the Lord going to hide them soon. Come. That famine of the word is going to kick in, Israel. The Lord going to hide his men. What was that last one I wanted? Bear with me. Malachi chapter 1 verse 6. And it reads, A son honoreth his father. And a servant, his master. If then, if then I be a father, this is the heavenly father speaking. If then I be a father, where is my honor? Where is the honor for the Lord, right? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Save the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Until you, O priests, that despise my name. You got a whole lot of men with Bibles walking around. Torn dead, a priest of the Lord, but they don't fear the Lord. They despise his name. They're not seeking the Lord. They despise his name. They say we don't know the name. The Lord said, if I'm supposed to be your master, then where's my fear? Why are you despising my name? And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? When you say you didn't know it. When you said we don't know it. When you called upon another God, when you called upon God and Christ blessed, when you called on Yah, when you called on a higher Shia, 
when you called on uh, everything upon the sun except for Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And we call on those names in faith. But we also approve those names according to the Bible, too. You see? When you go into the breakdown of those names, we can prove it according to the Bible. The Lord says, where's my fear? Where's my honor? Where's my reverence? You, you despise it. Look, look, return back. You know, we got to call them no name, Israel. We got to call them. Look, look, that's a heavy scripture. A son, Malachi chapter 1 verse 6, a son honor of his father. And a servant, because we're servants, right? And this is the heavenly father, right? You honor your regular father. And a servant, his master. A slave honors his master, right? If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, the most high Yahweh. Unto you, O priests that despise my name. So a whole lot of these Israelite group leaders, they're in trouble with the Lord, man. They despise the name of the Lord. That's why every time you turn around, they just Christ, Christ, Christ. And we hate that name. But we say that name just for edification purposes, right? We know the true name, the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. The Most High's name, His real name, not His title, His real name is Yahweh. He is, He exists. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call Jesus. He saves, he delivers, man. Where's their reverence? Where's their honor? Where's, where's their fear? But, but you're honoring Martin Lucifer the king today, right? But, you, but you're honoring Martin Lucifer the king today, right? And it's, it's crazy. You, you'll honor Martin Luther for the king, though. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. And it reads, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You see, that you may be hid in the day of the Lord's. And you know, I got, I got, I got one more, and I'm gone. I got one more. Let's see. The Lord said, "If you seek me early, you're gonna find me." That's that's here, Deuteronomy four and twenty nine. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart, meaning your mind, and with all thy soul, because it's about to be too late. You see. The Lord about to fill the majority of you Israelites' faces with shame. I wanted to get one more. Um, let's see. Let's see. Well, I, I just bring this out and then I close it. But it was a scripture that I was looking for. Brothers can put it in the comment, boy. That, that, uh, you, when, when the Lord says, seek him, when the Lord says, seek him, we, we say, okay, Lord, we're going to seek you. This is roughly paraphrasing. Second Chronicles 15, 13, that whosoever will not see. This scripture right here is deadly serious, Israel. This scripture right here is deadly serious. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever, talking about the Israelites, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death whether small or great, whether man or woman. Seek the Lord. Shalom.